new table. Welcome back to another build series on Defiance. I want to show you my new table. This is going to be so nice. This is where I'm going to be doing my carbon fiber layups, my fiberglass layups. I'm going to be building tail feathers on this. Super excited about my table. Guys, we're building landing gear today for Defiance. You may have noticed some changes. I've been busy cutting out the work that I did last time. I decided to go with the traditional style front end where all the tubes come out down to the center. I'm actually copying the Highlander from Just Aircraft. They have theirs come in like this. I cut out these. If you noticed in the last episode, I talked about how I was gonna do that. It would give me great visibility up front. But having this support in here actually hindered my peripheral vision right here. And it, it was a little bit too close. Um, without that, it would have been, been fine, but having that brace in there, it was just too close. The front view was obviously beautiful, but I didn't like that if I was ever to be in a crash, I could see my face going into those. That's not nice. So anyways, you don't really notice these when you're flying. My Kit Fox has them, and you just don't. So it's not that big of a deal. And I figure I'm tempted to go with the Edge Performance Epex 300. Um, that engine is what Steve Henry has in his, and he's winning races with it. So uh, I think I want to maybe do that. Maybe go that route. We'll see. Building landing gear, John Roberts is coming over to help me. He should be here shortly. Um, super excited to have him come. He is a phenomenal welder. Welding, I think, for 20 plus years. And he actually built the landing gear for my Kit Fox. Kind of interesting story. The previous owner that had the Kit Fox wanted John Roberts Bush gear. So he called him up, gave him the dimensions, and John Roberts built the gear one off for the Kit Fox, shipped it, and it fit up perfectly. That just shows you how well of a fabricator welder this guy is. Uh, and he's been building, I don't know how many bush gear he's built, but he's built a, a ton. I actually did a video for him like six years ago about his bush gear that he builds for the Rans S7. I'll post a link in the description because it is actually a really good video, a lot of good mountain flying, um, gravel bars, river flying. We did a really nice job on it and it just shows you how tough his landing gear is. So super excited to have this guy come help me build my crazy design uh, landing gear and see what we can do. So he should be here shortly and we'll get to it. John made it. Got the beard going too. Yeah. <laughs> it's Idaho. Yeah, it's that time of year. <laughs> so what do you think so far of the welds that I've done? A lot of it's all just still tacked up, but just give me your honest opinion. I think she'll fly. <laughs> That's no, good. I think they're they're good. All right, guys, so we're just gonna start fitting, getting everything level, put it together. It's gonna be good. We got some different shocks that we're gonna be uh, debating. We got a shock monster. This is a two and a half inch air shock. We got the Fox shocks. And this shock that came off of my snowmobile, I've been debating on going with the coil over and talking to John. It seems like that's better option. You can't really beat a coil over shock. Yeah, that's a good shock. Um, apparently they're about the same weight. Yeah, they are. The coil over is about the same weight as the shock monster. And if it's not strong enough, I can get bigger coils. All right. I can get bigger coils. It's got adjustment on it. Um, let's get to work. All right. All right guys, back on the landing gear. I had to wait for John Roberts to send me the materials. Christmas happened, all that. Meanwhile, while I was waiting for that, that's why I built the one wheel. I finished my table, super stoked on that. And I wanted to do a quick shout out to Wix Aircraft. After they saw that video of the one wheel, and I gave them that little shout out, they're gonna actually give you guys 10% off your order. So you gotta mention Jonas 10, I think. I'll leave the info in the description. But that's super cool. They're the ones that I bought all my uh, chromoly tubing from. Came in these big boxes here. That's what I built the one wheel from also. So I thought that was really cool that uh, Wix was gonna do that and give, uh, give you guys 10% off your order. So if you're building an aircraft, they're a wonderful uh, aircraft parts supplier. They got everything. So definitely go check them out. Okay, so we got the landing gear uh, from John Roberts. This is basically 
the pieces that he sent me. Um, when he was over here, we went through everything and I have to put this together on there. I got quite the, the mission ahead of me today. I'm gonna try and get it done today, at least all fitted up. So let's see how far we can go. Jamming this through my gut. Oh, yes. Woo. Said it was gonna be at the end of the day I was gonna get it done. No, that was like a week ago. I built it and then cut it off, built it and cut it off because it just, some stuff didn't line up quite right and it, it was binding and I didn't have the clearances and it felt like it was gonna rip the gear off how it had it. I'll talk more about it. I'm so stoked that I have it all tacked up exactly where it needs to be. Everything's lined up. Angles are the same. Measurements are the same. The clearances are working out. It's not binding, it's working. So, I don't know. We'll talk to you guys after I get the axles done. Oh. It's done, finally. I got it all welded up last night and it feels so good. This week project turned into a month, which uh, yeah, that's typically how it goes. Maybe not that long, but it's been quite the process. I feel good where it's at. Uh, I ended up MIG welding it up last night. So anyways, let's, uh, let's talk about it. I'll give you my insights. So you may notice uh, that the gear is actually quite more up and down. The reason I did that is it gives me a little better prop clearance and also this has so much travel that I didn't want on the, the wide end to be so flat. So as you can see, it's already pretty, pretty flat at that end. Now I hope it never gets to that end because if it does get to that end, that's when stuff starts breaking. What the weak point that I would like is this actual gear leg to be the weak point. I'd rather replace a gear leg than replace any of this stuff in here. So there is some thought of putting a truss system behind here to strengthen this gear leg up. Toe in, toe out, that is basically your wheels either towed out or towed in. 
Uh, John Roberts prefers a towed out of half degree. I tried moving this gear as far forward as I could. The reason why you want your gear forward in a bush airplane is so you can slam on those brakes and you don't end up in the upside down club like I have with the Kit Fox. By the way, we have some new t-shirts that are for the upside down club. So if you're in that club, go ahead and grab one of those t-shirts and welcome to the club. <laughs> So excited about that. Um, I do wish it was more forward. Yeah, I'll show you a little close-ups. Um, welds aren't super pretty. Some are okay, some are not so pretty, I guess. As you can see, I uh, doghouse this out. This actually used to be a 5 16 bolt, which I believe this is. I went up to a 3 8 bolt here, so I had to cut that out and redo that. But I just feel a little better there's a lot of stress on this bolt basically the other thing i did is i added a bushing here on the tabs that gives a little more surface area for the the bolt so it's not on such a skinny point on the tabs so i like how that turned out as you can see i have a very tight clearance right here so it was such a pain building this this gear that i can kind of change and play with and that does actually move that gear leg out a little bit so that's that's nice to have um, I probably will doghouse this out or close this in just in case this bolt does break it'll be caught by there a uh, buddy came in and gave me that idea I thought that was, was a good idea if there's any questions you guys have on the gear feel free to leave a comment in the description but super excited it's got a ton of travel man it's gonna be so sweet it's like this is gonna be some awesome gear, excited to do it. I am gonna do some testing once I get my uh, big bush tires and uh, we'll show you guys what this gear can do. I have to build tail feathers, control systems, tail wheel, uh, suspension, which I think is gonna be super exciting. So uh, that'll be a good video. But before that, my next project, and I'm super excited about this. As you see, I just got a shipment in from Fiberglass. I am so excited. Some good, these guys are so awesome. They seriously have such a good YouTube channel. You can learn so much about doing Fiberglass work. So definitely go check them out. Um, but yeah, look at all this. Some vacuum bagging materials, resin, and the sweet stuff. Oh yeah, baby. Whew. I'm so excited. I want to tell you what I'm building, but I'm not going to. So you're just gonna have to hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. I did want to give a quick shout out to this small company that uh, hit me up a few months ago. It's a beard oil company. It's basically, it's a guy that loves aviation. He started this company. He's been testing out these oils and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I think it's, I mean, he hit me up and he had like 15 followers at the time. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and it's so cool that it's all around aviation. I didn't even know they made beard oils. So I was like, yeah, send me some and I'll try it out. So we kind of went through them. Uh, Sylvia likes the Explorer on me, the smell of it. I like the Aviator. Um, they're all really good, but those are kind of two. I like, but anyways, I thought I'd give this guy a shout out. It's so hard starting your own business, but so cool that it's all aviation. I was like, I have to do something for him. So that go uh, give him a share, a like, buy some of this stuff for your bearded pilots. The other thing, I'm not gonna be using these uh, 2.0 Fox shocks. The company I bought them from won't take them back. So if you guys know someone that needs those, I'll sell them for $50 below retail. And yeah, I think that's about it. You guys know the drill. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Thanks for following along on this build series of the Defiance. I'm super excited to get this thing going. Like, so excited. It's gonna be so, so sweet. So, anyways, we'll see you guys on the next video. Fly safe, bye. Some time with Jonas and looking at this airplane and uh... Sitting down with him with the CAD, he's, he's really an accomplished CAD operator, so I got to see his full design, and it's, it's a viable, it's a viable uh, airplane that he's building here, and it's, it's built well, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it further along. It feels really good hearing that from this guy that's built five airplanes. Oh, yeah. For the 
in my lifetime. Scratch build airplanes, not from a kit, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that feels really good.